Uh, welcome, my viewers, from all over the world. May God bless you. It is another beautiful, wonderful evening that the Lord has made for us, uh, and we will rejoice and be glad in it wherever you are. Uh, feel at Jesus' feet uh, and feel free to share this broadcast uh, with your friends, with your enemies, and your loved ones. And I believe that you are going to enjoy the kind of blessings that God is going to release uh, upon your life, upon your family, upon your children, and your entire generation. And uh, let us pray so that we can be able to move on smoothly in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you because of this evening again that you have given us, O oh Lord, that we can be able to share your word. Father, I pray that you may come in and fill this place with your power. Jehovah, come down and fill this place with your healings. Jehovah, we ask that you may forgive us our trespasses uh, and everything that we have done against you, Lord, that you may be able, this service may be able to please you, Lord, that you may fill our life with new grace, with new power and new revelation and new uh, grace in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, each and every person that shall connect on this broadcast, Lord. I pray that you may visit them in a mighty way. Lord, answer them, giving them, uh, give them answers. Uh, open their doors, uh, them that they are seeking you, Lord. Father, in their families, uh, let there be restoration, let there be happiness. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Jehovah, because you are going to do wonders and miracles uh, upon our life in Jesus' mighty name. Fill each empty soul, uh, fill each empty spirit uh, with your power, with your grace, uh, and with, uh, with your anointing in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Child of God, welcome, 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 and feel at Jesus' feet. In the book of Joshua, uh, chapter number 24, verse 15, the Bible says, But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I know that um, wherever you are, now you feel as if you are empty. You feel like your life is not making any progress. But I want to remind you, child of God, as for you and your house, it is time for you to serve the Lord. And I believe that God is going to uplift you. These are the examples that word uh, that came out of the mouth of Joshua that said, uh, but as for me and my house, uh, we shall serve the Lord. There are people who are serving other gods. There are people who are serving money. There are people who are serving their friends. There are people who are serving their bosses. There are people who are serving their husbands and their wives. There are people who are serving their wealth. But as for me and my house, uh, we shall serve the Lord. And I want to remind you that God is calling us uh, to do many things uh, and he called us into his will. But there are really uh, some foundational uh, things that we can take in our hearts uh, to rely, uh, to really fulfill what he is uh, calling us to do in our lives uh, for his kingdom and his glory. And I believe uh, uh, it is found in this, in this verse. As for me in my house, we shall serve the Lord. I told you the other time, uh, if you want to know that God is with you, you have to ask for signs. Our God walks with signs. Our God walks with wonders. Our God does a kalek regama. God does a lot of stuff, but most of us, we are too busy uh, to see it. We are too busy to see what God is doing upon our lives. And uh, sometimes we are too busy with our businesses. We forget that God is still speaking to us. As, from, as for you and your house, it is time for you to serve God. You and your entire generation, it's time for you to serve God. We have been serving people for so many days and when the pandemic came and all of them, they ran back to their homes and they forgot about you. They went on ahead and they put you in a lame, uh, in a lame corner whereby they don't want to support you. They are the people who hired you. They have been paying you peanuts and yet you have the talent, you have the grace of God, you have the anointing that whatever you share will be able to receive. You have the talent to speak to people. You have the talent uh, to, to make people laugh and then you get paid from it. Uh, but you people, you have been too busy uh, serving uh, 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 bosses and owners of companies. Uh, but at the end of the day, they have failed you. They have put you in a corner and they have rejected you. Child of God, uh, this is a moment for you to understand uh, that uh, as for you and your house, uh, it is time for you to serve the Lord. It is a prophetic message to each and every person who is here. It is a prophetic message. Let your children serve God. Let your husband serve God. Let your wife serve God. Let them. Let them be praise and worshippers. Let them be uh, ushers. Let them be people who will be washing the church or arranging the seats. Let them be uh, the seats. Allow, allow, the, 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 uh, allow your family to play part in the church. And serve God in season and out of season. 
So child of God, I know this message might be hard to you, but I know that there is something that God is releasing and depositing into your spirit. I've been asking God, what do you want me to do now? I have prophesied as much as I can. I have released the word and people are receiving their testimonies. And the Lord, Father, please give me a word that I can be able to share with your people tonight. And he gave me this word. And he said, as for you and your house, you shall serve me. Riches will come and it will go. Pain will come and it will go. Poverty will come and it will go. There is no permanent poverty. Sickness will come and it will go. Witches and wizards, they will fight you and they will go. But God will remain there forever. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So I'm here to remind you, child of God, whether you have money or you don't have money, serve God. Shagasho Pradiyamanda. It is simply says, but as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. The most important part as we look at this is the decision made, the heart that is set on serving the Lord. What does it mean to serve the Lord? A lot of times we quickly think of things that you are doing uh, 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 on the outside. Maybe service in the church, maybe service that we are helping people. Whatever it may be, it's not that those things are not involved, but they are only a result of the heart of the matter. See, to serve God is much more than just an outside thing, but it's really entering into a lifetime service of God, a service to God in which the Lord Jesus is the Lord of ourselves, uh, of our lives, and we give, uh, we give Him full reign and full rulership over our hearts, uh, over our minds, uh, over our decisions, and over our everything. That decision, that decision that you make, everything that we do is completely in control and laid in his feet. Now, it's this very uh, practice in our life that solidifies our relationship with God. Then, and only then, God begins to pour out his power and his anointing in our lives. Not only to stand strong for him, but to even influence others. Meaning, as for me and my household, those who live with me, those who are around me, my brothers, my sister, my wife, it may be your husband, your son, your daughters, your roommates, whoever it may be, as for you have chosen to stand with God. Now, he gives you the power to also influence those in your very own household that you will not stop until he is declared Lord in every uh, crevice, uh, crevices of your household, every room, in every places. Child of God, why are you passing through challenges? Yet it is just only one simple decision. It's just only one simple decision that you have to cross. Only one simple decision. Only one small issue that you have to do by just clicking it in your heart and say, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. I have seen many, I have seen uh, dozens of people they connected with me a long time ago, but they have grown, uh, their heart has, is fainting. Their hearts are fainting. And it's like um, they are uh, they are giving up now on God. When they see that things are out of control, now they want to run away. They want to do things as per this one they are. They have now gone back to drinking alcohol. They have gone back to do prostitution. They have gone back to do all sorts kinds of stuff. But I want to encourage you, child of God, even if things are very hard, even if you feel like your strength is gone, even if you feel like nobody cares for you, I just want you to serve the Lord. Just serve the Lord. And God will uplift you. There is healing in serving the Lord with your heart. That one that comes from the bottom of your heart. There is financial breakthrough in you serving the Lord. There is permanent solution to your problems in you serving the Lord. Let your household praise the Lord. 
Let your family praise the Lord. Let your children praise the Lord in the name of Jesus. And there shall be permanent solution into your family and into your children's children's life. Maybe it is you that I'm talking about. You feel like you have done enough. No, not yet. You have not done enough. You have to believe in God until you believe no more. You believe until the belief is becoming a belief until you believe an extra believing power. And for you to have more faith that things will come out successfully. Because you cannot serve two masters at the same time. Your heart cannot serve God at the same time and you serve money. Because money, it is a God. Today, let me reveal this to you. I know most of you, you have not yet been able to understand what is happening around. You have not been able to understand what is happening around. And I would like you to share that broadcaster. Be an evangelist. May, uh, pull others to come on this broadcaster. And tell them, share, them uh, share the word and tell them that there is a man of God who is uh, uh, preaching something right now in the realms of the spirit. When I speak about the kingdom of God, uh, uh, the kingdom of God, the government of heaven, I have their backup because I am an ambassador. I am representing God in this land and I'm here to talk to you child of God and I want to remind you that when you serve God you have to serve God with all your heart your soul and your mind and do not rely on the things that may be things that are occurring around you because I've seen people serving money and serving God now I've said here earlier that money it is a God have you had have you ever heard about mammon have you ever heard about Mammon? Mammon is a god of riches. In the realms of the spirit, uh, Mammon is a god. Mammon is a god. So if you go deeper serving money than God, the main God that will provide the money to you, then you'll be serving a demon called by the name of Mammon. And this word Mammon it is only written once in the, uh, in the in the entire Bible, and it is what Jesus said: you cannot serve both God and money. You will love one and you will hate the other. And because our God is not sin, you will love what you see than what is not sin. Uh, this is what it truly means to serve the Lord. As we practice this in our own life, it begins to pour out in every person around us and really becomes a powerful influence that causes transformation. So I'm praying today that we will grasp this. This is a key to living as a Christian that God will take the rightful place in our hearts, in our lives, in our minds, and in our everything. As he stands as, as the ruler, as the one and only Lord, as he takes his true place, we are able to walk as conquerors, also bringing others from the power of hell, from the clutches of darkness, from the rulership of Satan, into the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you be blessed today. May you take hold. May uh, may you take hold. May you stand before your God, and as you look unto Him, may you declare His as the King of your life. May you begin to practice it as never before, walking in the fullness of Him, ruling and reigning over your life, that He will draw you in in to have such a powerful relationship with Him, and may you be blessed. And may you be a blessing to those in your household as you draw them into the service and the presence of the living God. May God answer your prayer. Don't get tired serving God. Even if your miracle is taking too long, Mary brings. Eddie Domoka, Mary brings for a prosperous Sarah Gabriel Mato. Don't give up on serving God. Don't you ever stop serving this God. I'm just reminding you, child of God, that you, you are still needed in the kingdom of God. And as I'm talking to you, child of God, right now, as I am, um, I see uh, Agnello Castro 
in the dance of the spirit, God is opening things uh, around you and I am seeing you. People coming to you listening of the good news that you have to share to them. I don't know why I'm seeing that, but that is the message to you, Agnello Castro. There is something that God has done into your life and you have to share this with those who are around you. Salah Braga, Shebien Teskishan Lighter. So Agnello Castro, I see I see a lot that is happening around you. I see a lot that is happening around you. May God bless you so much and answer you. Because they have seen the kind of stress and struggle that you have been passing in the year past. And when you share with them this good news about Jesus, who had helped you and saved you from the wretches of the darkness, they will start believing. And through that, there shall be permanent healing. There shall be an overflow of grace over your life. And you will not struggle looking for finances. Finances will just look for you. You will not struggle looking for customers. Just share the good news with them. And God will bless you. And God will uplift you. And give you answers to your problems in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that spark of the Holy Spirit spark your heart. And then give you a divine favor in the name of Jesus Christ. I see a, a, a power of healing. There is a, a, an anointing of healing over your life. And uh, maybe you have not realized it, but I want you to practice it as from today. If somebody tells you that my head is paining, just go and put your hands on that person whose head is in pain. And then just pray a short prayer and say, God, heal this person. And I am telling you, Peter Titus, uh, you shall start to manifest more power. And then you start to forget about your problems. Because you have been going to God looking for answers uh, and the problems that you are facing. Yet you forget the kind of power and the grace that God has re released upon you. And God will use you mightily, Peter Titus. Uh, there is a divine healing upon you in the name of Jesus. And whatever you will be seeking, uh, uh, especially in your marital health, area. God will settle that case. God will settle that case. As for you and your house, let us serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. And I want to remind you, you are not alone. You have the backup of the Holy Spirit. That's why I always preach confidently. And I don't care what people are saying. I don't care who will hate me and who will love me. As long as I'm representing my God, my maker who made me to be somebody today. I was a nobody. I was useless. In fact, in our family, they, they, uh, they, they went up to an extent and put me in the name of a rapist. They say that I am a rapist. They called me a rapist because I, I did not have money. I did not have anything to go to. I, I, I was not going to school. I was just a roaming around a young boy who does not have even a future. So they, 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 they oh, Kalabaga. I was called a rapist. But that one did not stop me from preaching the word of God. As for me and the same, same house that called me a rapist, they are the ones that shall see the hand of God. So, child of God, I want to remind you. Please, serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. And God will uplift you. Gabriel Mato, I don't know the kind of forces and powers that are fighting you. But I know where you stand. You stand on the rock, which is Jesus Christ. And they shall not threaten you. They shall not uh, threaten you your marriage they shall not threaten your wife and your children because where you stand you are standing in a strong foundation whatever bomb blast will, they, they, will throw, uh, they will throw at you you will be able to overcome it no matter the arrow no matter the, the, the attacks you will be able to, to shine upon it I'm talking to you Gabriel Mato just for you and your family serve the Lord. For you and your entire family, just serve the Lord. And no matter what is happening, 
God will be able to fight for you and you will always stand firm. I have been, been reading my word. I have been reading the word of God. I have been reading the word of God from Genesis to Revelation. Those people who persisted, those people who never give up, those people that are used in the Bible, they come from different backgrounds. Some of them, they were useless. They were rejected by the way. Like Jephthah, if I read the Bible in the book of uh, uh, Judges, chapter number six, uh, chapter number 11, Judges chapter number 11, there was a young man by the name of Jephthah who was born out of a prostitute. And the legitimate brothers of Jephthah, the stepbrothers, they threw Jephthah out of their town, out of their house, and said, get out of here, you son of a prostitute. You are not supposed to inherit anything. But God was with Jephthah. He went on and, uh, and he, uh, on his way, and God met him. Until one day, the same same brothers that rejected him went on ahead to look for him in order to come and fight with them in the battle, and God made them to succeed. I am talking to each other of God. If you continue to serve God, God will make you to be honored. God will make you to be honored. They shall respect you. That's why I want to jog your mind so that you can be able to get this very clearly that as for you and your house, you shall be able to serve the Lord. I see my daughter like Raquel Small say, Prophet, uh, you will be blessed every day of your life. Thank you so much. That is a very powerful uh, word. Uh, every time I always face battles, I know there is something good that God is uh, about to put upon my life. That's why I said on the other video, there are people who are, there are temptations. They can come with money to bribe me or to bribe any servant of God. Their intention is not to serve the Lord. From their heart, they are not serving the Lord. From their heart, there is some intention about this handsome young man. And I told you, they come with a lot of money so that I can fall in love with money and then I sleep with them. And that thing that God has put in me disappears. Now, child of God, I want to remind you. Don't make a permanent decision on a temporary situation. But make God a permanent decision on this temporary life. They will call you all sorts of names. They will even call you a thief. They will even call you a prostitute. They will even call you such evil words. But for you and your house, continue to serve the Lord. Don't even worry about them that are going to witchcraft. That means witchcraft, they have not yet, uh, they, they were not able to fight you. That's why they are looking for an extraterrestrial powers to come and fight you. Yet, whatever they are seeking, whatever you have is powerful than whatever they are seeking. So if anybody is using witchcraft, they will never succeed. Just stand firm. Serve the Lord. God will make you shine. God will uplift you. God will give you victory in every corner of your life. I believe that this word has gotten deeper into your spirit and you have received answers to your prayers. If you are praying for a child, I would like just to remind you, until you serve God with your heart, and maybe your womb is barren, and we have been seeking help from uh, Sangomas, witch doctors, from prophets to prophets. If you don't serve God with your heart, you will never get a child. And I want to give you an example by the person by the name of uh, Hannah. Until she served the Lord, until she prayed from the bottom of her heart, 
And then she said, now enough is enough. And then she said, now I'm, I, I, I have whatever that I shall receive. If it is a boy, I will leave it in the house of God. And this boy will serve the Lord. And that is where Samuel was born. And Samuel served God his entire life. And he became a kingly prophet. There is two types of prophets. There are kingly prophets and the priestly prophets. I will teach, I will, I will talk about that later. God bless you. Uh, uh, Elijah and Elisha, they were kingly prophets. Samuel was a kingly prophet. Priestly prophet was Eli. Moses was a priestly prophet. Just open up your heart, open up your soul, open up your spirit. These are the things, these things that you are seeking. You remember the time that you are looking for this phone? Do you remember those days? When there were, this phone, uh, 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 I've been making a research. These phones here in Kenya, they came, uh, these, uh, these, uh, these ones, uh, the, the Android ones, came to Kenya in the year 2011 the Android ones. What was happening before the Android came? There was the other phones like these ones. Like these ones. Are we together? The other phones like these ones. Now, when you are, you have now this phone, sometimes you even forget about using it. Your heart was craving, your heart was lustfully after the phone. But when you got the phone, you are not even interested with it. Why? Because your heart is made not fully satisfied. So it is God that will satisfy you. It is only God who will satisfy your spirit and your soul. And it is up to you to welcome him. It is up to you to release him to come upon your life. Prosper Sarah. Even you too, God is about to uplift you. Just continue to be faithful to God. Continue to serve Him diligently. And the more God has already started using you. And that is also Castro, you and your husband stand firm. Do not allow the negativity of people pull you down. Patrick Musili, continue to serve God. Just worship God, serve God diligently with your heart. Not serve God because it is a compulsory stuff. There's nothing like a temporary Christian, and there's nothing like a temporary devil. Devil is permanent, and Christianity, if you're a Christian and a believer of God, of Christ, you have to be permanent, ready at all, no matter what is happening. Let us make our staffs right with God. And there are some actions that I want to rebuke you people. Stop taking things for granted. Stop taking things for granted. One day, one time, you will look for this time. You will look for my Facebook account so that you can hear these words, these words that I'm sharing with you today. But my account will be deleted because those days are coming. There was a day I wrote something on Facebook back in the year 2013. And uh, this was the words, I remember it very clearly, that this is the church that is coming, whereby we will not be reading our Bibles, our physical Bibles. We shall be saying, let us meet on WhatsApp groups. Let us meet on, uh, uh, on Facebook uh, groups. Little did I know that this will happen in the year 20, uh, 20. But I just wrote it as a joke to make fun of how the generations that are coming will be. But I didn't know that God was using me 
to tell you people, to warn you people, that there are days that you people, the church, will be closed and you will not be entering into the church and we will be having meetings in our WhatsApp groups. We will be having meetings on Facebook accounts. But let me remind you today, there are days that are coming that even this Facebook account will be deleted because they will not want anything that is mentioned by the name of God. Right now, I have a very powerful, uh, 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 powerful group and I always receive reports of uh, 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 the use of the name God or Jesus is being mentioned as, 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 as an insult. The name of God is made as a spam on Facebook. So there is a day, there is a day that is going to come, we as Christians, if we don't become creative, uh, this fire that is here today, we might not be able to have it tomorrow. You will try to look for Prophet Muhammad, you will not find him. Prophet Muhammad will be busy, the words will be disappearing. The words that I'm preaching right now, in my mind, it will go, it will be gone. The Spirit of God will not be there. Uh, there will not be any, 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 we are close to us. You will try to look for, <laughs> for a rope to kill yourself, but the rope will run away from you. You try to ask for lion to eat you, but lion will tell you, "I'm having a lot of my, a lot of problem. I'll have a lot. I'm having a lot of my problems." You'll stand in front of buffalo to kill you, but not kill you. You'll try to throw yourself from a, a, a thirteenth-story uh, 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 house. You fall down, but you don't die. Even your head does not burst. Why? Because the time which are perilous are coming. I was talking today with my uh, my assistant pastor in the church, and uh, we were talking something very crucial. And this topic came ar around, and, and uh, I asked her, "Why did God allow uh, Noah to build the ark?" And this point came: if you serve God, God will give you the staffs that you are supposed to to operate with. So Noah created the made the ark. But he did not send a message to the animals to go to the ark. It's God himself that brought in every single animal. The snake, the snake, different kind of, different, thousand species of snakes, thousand species of birds, thousand species of animals. All of them, they ran to the ark and find it themselves, they, they, they find the spaces to enter and throw themselves in. But God, but, but Noah did not write a message to them. So you serve God, let other things follow. Serve God and let other things follow. Your character is not good. Your characteristic is not good. You know what you are doing. You are becoming a complainant. When your angel comes down, instead of finding praises in your mouth, you are complaining. The government is too bad. There is no servants of God today. All of them, they are evil. There is no true miracle nowadays. You just criticize. Instead of finding something to praise God, even waking up in the morning and telling God, God, I love you, thank you for giving me this day. You are there asking where you will be able to get some mushene or some words to share with people. You become a bad mind energy or bad mouth person. You know your character. You know your character. Yet you want the same God to bless you. You have become, you have, you have been a liar for a long period of time. You have become a very big liar. You lie. Yet you want God to bless you. On Sunday, you are raising your hands and worshiping God as if life is normal. 
walking naked, half naked, making men and women fall from the uh, fall from the glory of God. Yet you are there saying God is looking at heart, not on what we wear. Adam and Eve they hid themselves. They hid their nakedness from God. But you today you go to church half naked, saying God does not look on our outward appearance. You don't know God is made on a human image. God is uh, God is like a human. You are made on a God's image. So you, the way you look, the way you are, is like that neighbor is your God. That friend, that friend is that friend is God. That child that you have is God. Then when things start to delay, you say there is no God. Yes, you you have been saying uh, God looks at heart, not at our outward uh, appearance. Now, God has stayed silent. Because you seduce the man of God. You seduce the servant. You become like Delilah. You become like Jezebel. You as a man, always fighting your wife, attacking him, attacking her, sorry for that, attacking her because she's going to church, because she's praying at night, because she is supporting that man of God. You fight her. Then when you go out there, things go south, things go west or north or whatever. You go back home and give the same same woman more stress. Then you say there is no God. But you stopped your wife from going to church. You say if it is the church of prophet, remember that pastor is a devil worshiper. I don't want you to go there. Yet maybe my spirit and the spirit of your wife has connected in the spirit. And maybe through that we will be able to pray and you too will be able to get the salvation and receive your blessings. <sighs> when God looks at us, He, he cries. In fact, He regrets creating people in the book of Genesis chapter number 6. God regretted creating human beings because the sin that they engaged in, it was so deep. But as for me and my house, my sons and my daughters, my family, my friends, we shall give glory to God. Let us serve God. With whatever small we have, serve God. With much that we have, serve God. If you read the book of Acts chapter number 5, we find he has two people and they were spouse, or they were a married couple by the name of Hananiah and Sapphira. They sold their land and they went to church and lied to the, to the apostles and said this is the amount that we sold it and then they sold it on a higher price and they wanted to keep some money but the spirit of God killed them how many times have the spirit of God killed whatever that you are doing maybe you are not killed physically but spiritually your financial are those are killed that's why there is no flow of finances there is no flow of healing. Is it normal that you go to a hospital and this hospital, these people are qualified, the doctors there, they are qualified. They have the latest technological equipment to treat every kind of diseases. But when they check your body, they don't even see a single sickness. Even a single bacteria or fungi. 
do you think it is normal? It is not normal at all, at all, at all. That's why I prophesy to you today. Let this word sink deeper into your spirit. I prophesy that you shall be the head and not the tail. I prophesy in your family, you people, you will serve the Lord. Your brothers and sisters, maybe they are drunkards. They don't, they dislike the church. I prophesy today, let the word of God come upon them. Tonight, let them, tomorrow when they wake up, change their mind. If they are not saved, let them be saved in Jesus' name. I know this word will not receive much celebration because it is a cutting edge. It is piercing inside your heart. But better the truth. Serve God. It always pains me seeing people putting their jobs in ahead of God. No matter what, the moment I received Jesus Christ and I tested his goodness. Serving God has been my passion like never before. Each day I receive new experience. I receive new grace and I receive new revelations. Every Sunday in the morning by five you will not find me asleep. Yet I am the prophet. I am the leader of that church. I am the leader in that society where, where the church is. If the leaders will be called, I'll be among them. But Sundays, I don't sleep. And I want you to make it a habit. Every Sunday, make sure on at five, you are awake. If church is closer to you, make sure by six, you are in the church. Every Sunday by six, I am in the church. No matter where I am. There was a time I went to Eldoret last year around October. Was it October or November? November. Because of my habits of uh, waking up early, I woke up early by six. I was in the church. Even the pastor of the church was not there. So I stayed on the car park praying and asking God for the divine grace. An early bird catches the fattest worm. And you cannot go early in the, uh, to the well and take a dirty water home. So are you blessed? Have you received the word of God? Have you received something tonight? May you receive this prophetic word? Susan Denya, serve God. <laughs> Susan Denya, serve God. There is power in your prayers. I saw you in my vision praying and whatever words that were coming out of your mouth, they were like fire. They were like fire. And at the same time, there were people around you and they, they were wearing black clothes, black clothes like those of Muslims. And they were trying to stop you from, uh, uh, from speaking or from praying. But I saw God giving you power to continue to release the words of fire. So it means that as for you and your house, you shall serve the Lord. That marks the end of our service. For you that want to support this ministry by sending your offering and your tithe, may God bless you. And if you want to talk to me, I'm giving you a chance, 20 minutes because now it's 10, 40. I'm giving you 20 minutes we talk and then I go deeper into prayers. I am in a prayer moment or a prayer season, a prayer time. A prayer time. Seek God on a personal level. Don't follow the multitude. Have God in your personal, closer, closer, I repeat again, closer, bring Jesus closer, closer, closer. Let Jesus be your personal 
save your personal person. Oh. Tess Joro, God bless you. Tricia Mkabela, God bless you. Mlidos Non Lomed Blinks, God bless you. Uh, Julie Mushiri, God bless you. Patience uh, Besimane, God bless you. Uh, may God continue to uplift you. Uh, Prospera Sara, Karina Hambalela, may God bless you so much. Uh, BJP, may God continue to enlarge your territory. Uh, Ado Elias, God bless you. Uh, Patrick Musili, God bless you so much. Uh, may God keep you safe and continue to enlarge your territory. I want you to comment there on the comment section below that as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. Comment it three times. Comment it three times. You don't know why I've said it. You comment it three times. Just comment three times and say, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Tomorrow we shall be having a one-on-one -on -one powerful prophetic and we shall be able to have a, our midnight prayer starting from tomorrow up to Friday. We shall be having our midnight, a three-day midnight prayer. Powerful prayer of uprooting and destroying. And I believe that God will bless you. Just comment as for me and my house. We shall serve the Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you for this word. I know that you have people that you have chosen. They have gotten the message that they will serve you. From today, Lord, give them your spirit. Renew your right spirit in them. Take not the Holy Spirit away from them, O oh Lord. Renew your right spirit in their hearts, in their lives. Restore, restore unto them the joy of salvation. Restore to them a joy of salvation. Thank you, Father, because you always listen to our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. May God bless you, keep you safe, continue to enlarge your territory, answer you, guide you, guard you, give you testimony, give you miracles, show you signs and wonders. And uh, if you have a burden to support this ministry, support it. Come to my WhatsApp. Tell me, man of God, I want to support your ministry. Give me the directions. And I'll give you the direction on how to support the ministry. And God will bless you. Shalom, shalom. Let us meet tomorrow for a powerful, prophetic night and overnight prayer session. Shalom, shalom, bye-bye for now. Amen.